I'm gonna be extremely humble. If you're really cool, you got two of them, right? Or really go through the sand substrate at all. He's already looking up the press of a button. All the way, super easy to put on. Le Mans, big down inside the house. He's just looking up at it like, hey, what is that thing? But I don't wanna do it. But not as fast. Pour a little out for the homies, you know what I mean? Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On this channel, we talk about everything aquatics, as you can see over my shoulder. Freshwater, saltwater aquariums, goldfish and koi ponds, product reviews. We also do local fish door tours and DIY projects in the hobby. Oh, and we also rescue fish too as well. So obviously, you know I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my Los Angeles Rams for making it to the Super Bowl. To all those 49er fans, I really apologize because a lot of my friends and family are 49er fans and I really do. We always have great games when we play against each other. Super nervous, but the Rams managed to pull it off. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna be extremely humble this time because the last time the Rams went to the Super Bowl, which was uh, 2018, I believe, they were going up against Tom Brady. And I got a little cocky. And I actually did it on one of my videos on YouTube. Let me roll the clip. Super Bowl champs. I'm calling it right now. This video was made before the actual Super Bowl, okay? Right now it's a Wednesday. Yes, a Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and call the shot on this video. When I post this video, it's going to be the Rams year, Super Bowl champs, and we took down Tom Brady. See, that was somebody who was extremely confident thinking that the Rams were gonna win the Super Bowl. Uh, but yeah, when you bet against Tom Brady, yeah, that's what happens when you go against the GOAT, right? So this year, I'm gonna be extremely humble, but we have really good chances because we actually play in LA. Yeah, this time around, Super Bowl is in Los Angeles. It's the perfect storm. It's where the Rams play. We have home field advantage. I mean, the list goes on and on. So fingers crossed, all those Ram fans out there, my boy Adam, my boy Ryan, and my boy Paul. And of course, I can't forget the biggest Ram fan of all, my cousin, rest in paradise, huge Ram fan. Miss him, I love him to death. And I just have a good feeling that the Rams are gonna do it this year. So with that being said, go Rams. Now the reason why I decided to make this video was because of an Instagram reel that I did, which had my CJ Ultra Zero utility pump involved in the reel. And if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, go over to Instagram and follow your boy on Instagram, all right? Your boy is creating these banging Instagram reels. And if you have no idea what an Instagram reel is, it's okay. But I'm gonna show a little clip for you of that reel. Check it. I know I gotta do it. I know that I can do it, but I don't wanna do it. I know I gotta do it. I know that I can do it, but I don't wanna do it. I know I gotta do it. I know that I can do it, but I really don't wanna do it. I know I gotta do it. I know that I can do it, but I don't wanna do it. I know I gotta do it. I really gotta do it, but I don't wanna do it. Isn't that such a catchy little tune? And isn't that the feeling that we all feel as Aquarius in this hobby when it comes to doing water changes? Sometimes we just have that day. Now, if you notice in the reel, I show the actual CJ Ultra Zero utility pump. I'm gonna flip the screen and we're gonna talk about it right now. All right, here it is, the CJ Ultra Zero utility pump. Now, Ohana, in my opinion, every fish keeper should have at least one of these if you're really cool you got two of them right but honestly you do this thing moves water 800 gallons per hour well i mean to be technical it's like 793 gallons per hour but you can just round it up it will definitely drain a 100 gallon tank pretty fast which we are going to do in this video which is my 120 gallon predator tank so we're going to use it on that now it does suck up soft solids one millimeter wide as you can see underneath here and to get to the impeller is super easy there's no tools involved there's no screws no screwdrivers it just twists and comes off now if you want to see a more technical video on this pump i actually did one uh, i'll leave a card up above and you can see in that video um, the more technical specs on this pump. We're actually just gonna show you how easy it is to use it. Now, CJ was super smart when they designed this pump because here is your typical Python hose that a lot of people use for water changes. This adapter will hook on to the CJ pump, which is super cool. So if you wanna use this pump and you have a Python hose, bingo bango bingo bango bingo bango they make it super easy for you to use this 
connector here is three quarter inch so it actually fits your common garden hose because for me when i drain my big predator tank it's easier for me to use this hose because i run it right outside the house into the yard so it fits your garden hose which is a three quarter inch valve as you can see and uh, we'll get into it i just wanted to show you the cool little quick specs on the CJ Ultra Zero Utility Palm. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy in the house and get to draining. All right, so right behind me is the Predator Tank. We got my beautiful Ocellaris Peacock Bass Zeus. We got Big Black, the Long Fin Tiger Oscar. And then also we have the Albino Tiger Oscar named Lamon. Now I get a lot of questions on why I named him Lamon. It was actually short for lemon. I was just throwing a little accent in there to make it funny because when I bought him, he was a lemon Oscar. And then like a lot of Oscars out there that are quote unquote lemon Oscars, it transformed into a albino tiger Oscar. It was kind of a, a funny thing at the time, but you know what? I didn't want to change his name when he transformed into an albino Oscar. So I just kept the name Lamont. So there you go. So <laughs> this is my 120 gallon aquarium. It's two feet from front to back two feet from top to bottom or bottom to top and then it's four feet just three fish we're gonna go in and suck this water down about 50 percent just to do a 50 percent water change for the video normally i do about a 75 to 80 percent water change because these three fish only three fish in 120 gallons produce a lot of waste and you'll see what i mean when i show you okay so I'm gonna go over my technique on doing a water change. And if you go on YouTube, there are so many different videos on water changes. And this is just merely another idea for you guys. Maybe you can incorporate it. Maybe you can modify the way I do it uh, to the way you do it. I try to make things super easy and smooth because I have eight aquariums in the house. So uh, my technique, I'm gonna share it with you guys. And so here we go. Let's go ahead and hook up this utility pump by CJ, the Ultra Zero. The first thing I do is take the pump and my 50 foot garden hose and just attach it right here with the threads. Super easy to put on and you don't have to go super tight. All right. This is going to be submerged underwater. You just get it to about a hand tight. All right. Don't use any tools on it. All right, guys, you don't need to. So now that we got that hooked up, we're just going to drop it in our aquarium and run this 50 foot hose right outside the door into the grass where the grass will benefit because it's a natural fertilizer from all the fish waste that's in the aquarium. So let's go ahead and do that. CJ makes this super sturdy handle for you to pick up the utility pump by, and we're gonna set it right in the aquarium and watch Zeus probably attack it as soon as, look at, he's already looking up. See, there's the utility pump right there. Now watch him, he's probably gonna hit it when I put it in there, watch him. Oh, he didn't, normally he'll strike it. Cool, so what you're gonna do is drop it in and make sure it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Whoa, hey, what's up, big? Make sure it doesn't go all the way to the, he's just looking up at it like, hey, what is that thing? Make sure it doesn't go all the way to the bottom because it will start to suck up sand. Like I said, it will suck up material um, one millimeter wide. Now, like I said earlier, this pump will drain water or anything holding water down to two millimeters. Now, if you don't know what that is in inches, that's 0 0.08 to be exact okay so what i do is i actually run the hose about halfway which is about right and you can see down in the background there is the intake valve and i'm going to make sure that my ck pump is above that because i don't want that water level going below the intake valve you may have to get a clamp to hold it here on the brim of the aquarium but i don't need to it pretty much stays just the way it is now if you want to know how long the electrical cord is this is what I love about CJ. They made a 10 foot long cord so it could plug into any socket in the house. Pretty easy. I just run it and plug it to this socket over here on the side right there. I'm going to run this hose outside the front door, which is right there out onto the grass, plug it in and watch it suck. And that's in a good way. As you can see, Ohana, I have the hose running all the way out to the grass down inside the house. Doo -doo 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 -doo. right there look at those beauties aren't they beautiful anyways we're gonna go ahead and plug this bad boy in and uh zoom in zoom in there you go and watch this bad boy suck like i said in a good way this is all one shot here whammo there you go bad boy sucking sorry for the glare and Ooh, look at that water pressure, huh? 
maybe I'll make an adjustment on that hose and put it on the grass. But other than that, it's doing great. It's doing its job. Let's go back inside and make some adjustments now. Here's an adjustment that I make sometimes when I do water changes. Once I plug it in and that siphon starts to suck, what I like to do is unplug it, which is right here, okay? I'll unplug the CHA Ultra Zero, and because of that suction started, it will still, as we come out to the hose, it will still suck the water out but it's not such a strong flow. So now we can actually clean the detritus by using a siphon hose. And it's not, it's draining the water, but not as fast, all right? So that's one way of slowing it down. All right, so now that it's slowly draining, I gotta slip into something a little more comfortable because it's starting to get warm in here, all right? So let's get rid of this hoodie and this hat. Whew, just like that, we did a quick little change into something more comfortable. I went old school Rams on you guys with the Eric Dickerson jersey. I mean, come on. I told you, your boy goes way back with the Rams. I'm talking like Vince Ferragamo, Jim and Jack, Youngblood days, Frank Corral, the kicker, Wendell Tyler, the running back. Your boy goes way back. Now that we're comfortable, let's get into making some of this doo-doo go away. It smells like poop in here. So what I also did, Ohana, is I unplugged the heater and the UV sterilizer so the water level doesn't drop down below and they burn out. I just take all those extra precautions. As you can see, the water's going down pretty low, but what we're gonna do is suck up all that detritus. Now, the cool thing about this aquarium, I actually have the SDC by CJ right there. Wave maker slash pump, moves water really well on this side of the aquarium and on this side of the aquarium over here i'm going to show you guys as i walk through get out of the glare uh still some more glare i just added another cj pump on this side this is the extreme 5000 which moves 1320 us gallons so we actually put this wave maker to move that water on this side of the aquarium. Ah, the glare is so bad. So it's pretty much gonna clean out any debris that settles back there, meaning fish detritus, fish waste. As that wave maker on that side of the aquarium is blowing through here, it's blowing all the detritus and it kind of settles back down inside here, as you can see. Uh, big move out of the way, man. So there's the detritus. So it makes it really easy to suction up so what I like to do is take my brute can, which this here is a 32 gallon, it's a smaller one, and I use this strictly just to suck up fish waste. That is all I use it for. As you can see, I have my siphon hose in here. It's a real big and long one for bigger tanks. And we're gonna go ahead and suck up all that doo-doo right there. Of course, Big's gotta get out of the way. Get out of the way, Big. So once I get that siphon going, which is super easy, I just actually take my hose and suck up all this detritus here. Look at that. Pretty simple because it's all in one little area. I don't have to go searching for it or really go through the sand substrate at all. See that? Just sucking all that doo-doo. See all that detritus there? That's all gonna get sucked up with the siphon hose right there. As you can see that doo-doo right there floating around. So let's clean this up. As you can see, we cleaned up all that substrate and now we can go ahead and take our 32 gallon root container and dump that beautiful water on the grass out front. Let's go. This is pretty much what I do, Ohan. I just dump everything here on the grass. All those nutrients from that fish detritus will go right into the grass and keep my grass the greenest in town. All right, Ohana, so this is a really cool function that CJ has when it comes to their SDC pumps. So I'm gonna go right into the uh, app here and it pulls up my Synchro SDC pump that I have running the above ground pond, which is right there. You can see the temperature too is 39.9 degrees in that above ground koi and goldfish pond outside. Now right below that is my extreme SDC wave maker, which you can see the power is off and it is reading 77.9 degrees, which is super cool because it gives me a reading on the temperature of this aquarium. So what I do is I'll use my laser temperature reader, turn on the water here, shine the laser at the water coming out of the faucet until I get it at the desired temperature, which would be 78 degrees. And as you can see, I'm pretty close. So I gotta make some adjustments 
once I get this water temperature right at the aquarium temperature, I'll go ahead and fill up this Barut can here. Well, it's a trash can. You get them at Home Depot. This is a 44 gallon trash can. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this up, dechlorinate the water, which is super important. So this is what I use to dechlorinate my water. I use Prime and one capful of this stuff will actually treat 50 gallons of water. So that's why I use it. I love it. My fish love it. I've never had any problems with it. Steady hand. We dump it right into the bin. That'll dechlorinate all of this water here. And like I said, 50 gallons for one capful. This is a 44 gallon bin. Super easy math. And of course, we've got to pour a little out for the homies. You know what I mean? And let's take the temperature of the bin. Look at that. Right at about 79 80 degrees which is fine 79 we'll call it it's kind of bouncing back and forth once we get this full eh, to about there we'll go ahead and drop our pump and pump all this great water back into the aquarium and like i said earlier ohana the other extreme pump that i am using is the ch5000 as you can see right there it pushes 1320 gallons of water this bad boy moves and so i actually have two one is of course i showed you on this the sdc extreme right here as you can see ch makes it so easy for fish keepers so i highly suggest getting one of these wave makers which is right here which is controlled by the app it gives you a temperature reading of your aquarium and if the power goes out it'll actually send me a reading over my smartphone letting me know that the power is out on my aquarium and that gives you a heads up to get your butt home ASAP and fix the problem. Now this one here isn't part of the app, but it is a strong pump and it does help move the water on the backside of the aquarium. So basically what I caused in this aquarium is sort of like a circular motion. So as you can see the pump there blows in the back of the aquarium. This pump is more towards the front, but facing upwards causing water agitation to help the fish as far as oxygenizing the water for them and it's actually creating kind of a swirl circle back and forth so when they do poo it will go into the current and you want it to swirl in the water column eventually getting sucked in by the intake valve here on this side and the intake valve down over here on this side as you can see it right there so I have one on each end of the aquarium, which helps keep this water crystal clear. That's kind of my technique, all right? So I have two wave makers, CJ. We got a 5,000 and an SDC extreme pump, just so you guys know. So as you can see, I'm sharing all my secrets with you, Ohana, trying to help you guys out. Everybody has their own way of doing water changes. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it on this 120 gallon tank. You guys can take some things, maybe tweak it a little and make it your own. But I'm telling you right now, CJ makes it so easy for you, whether it be the utility pump or whether it be the actual SDC wave maker pumps in the aquarium, that's what it's about. And if you guys have any questions, I'll have all of their links down in the description below. Go give them a follow over on Instagram too as well, all right? Shout out to my boy Jay Wilson. Not only that though, shout out to Team CJ or CJ Strong. All right, now that we're in the kitchen, let's check on this water and see how it's doing. But not only that though, this is the perfect opportunity if you haven't subscribed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and next to that subscribe button is the little bell, notification bell, click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, smash that like button too, all right? It really helps the channel out and I appreciate it. Let's check out on the water. Look at here, we're almost at the brim here. Now make sure if you ever do this technique with the faucet and your sink and your trash bin that you actually use a timer. And I usually use this timer here on my stove to let me know, hey man, you better get over here and uh, turn the water off or you're gonna have water all over your kitchen floor, which you probably don't wanna do that because I'm pretty sure it'll piss your significant other off. All right, not that that's ever happened to me before, I lied. I'm just giving you guys a heads up, okay? <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, okay? Learn from my mistakes. This really helps out. And so let's go ahead and test the temperature of this water here. See where we're at. Oh, look at that. 77, 78 degrees. Yeah, right around. That's perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Get our CJ pump and start pumping. Pump, 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 pump,
<laughs> All right, so now that we have our 50 foot hose <laughs> going through the house, I actually dropped this bad boy, the CJ Utility Pump Ultra Zero, down to the very bottom. And then with this 10 foot plug, which comes in handy, I just run it to this socket right over here in the kitchen. Boom, we plugged it in. It's pumping. And let's follow the hose. I'll show you guys where it goes. Follow the hose. <laughs> As you can see, it runs up through here, coming out the hose into the aquarium, which Zeus loves playing in the bubbles. Yeah, Zeusy. Yeah, Zeusy, baby. Look at him. So beautiful. Anyways, super important that you have this clamp down so the hose doesn't move. You don't want this to accidentally flip up onto the ground and just shoot water everywhere on the ground. That's definitely uh, another major mistake that happens in the hobby. <laughs> so as we fill this bad boy up to par as it gets a little bit higher, we'll slowly start to turn on all of the pumps in the aquarium, especially the uh, CJ wave makers is what I mean. We got the heater in the back and we also have the UV sterilizer here in the corner. Yeah, I know Zeus. Ah, such a beautiful, I can never get rid of Zeus. You know what, I think I'm gonna do a video on Zeus. You know, he kinda has an interesting story and a lot of drama in his life, which I should share with you guys. Leave a comment down below if you guys wanna know the story on Zeus, my Ocellaris peacock bass. It's a good one. Let me know, Ohana, down in the comments below. right on as you can see we're almost at the top here of the aquarium but I wanted to show you something really cool check it out all right as you see Zeus right there getting nosy thinking I'm gonna feed him right there is the SDC power head or wave maker and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on by the press of a button look at that and look at that water agitation look how powerful that bad boy is let's get a better angle from this side here you can see it right up top there creating some nice water agitation but the cool thing about it is being operated by the app and it will send me notifications on my smartphone anywhere in the world. And look how beautiful these fish are doing. They're loving it right now. Huh? Huh, boys? Huh, Zeus? Huh, Big? Huh, Lamon? <laughs> Let's go ahead and plug in our uh, UV sterilizer and our heater and test the water temperature, see where it's at. So now that we have the pumps going, wave makers on, this tank is filled to the brim. Let's go ahead and hit the temperature and see what it's reading. And it's reading at a nice, comfortable, perfect 78.8 degrees, right at the target we were kind of shooting for. As you can see, the laser is in the aquarium. But the most important thing are these beautiful fish that are extremely happy, Lamon, big, hanging out here in the corner. Normally I take the sand and kind of like rescape it and kind of make it nice, but you know what? They're just gonna dig another nest. So I just figured I'd leave it the way it is. And uh, yeah, look at Zeus. Yeah, these guys want some food. They got a nice big water change. The aquarium's looking nice. Let me back up a little bit. Let me go into that range there. There you go. Ooh wee. Looking mighty fine, mighty fine. Now, for those of you that left comments on YouTube videos and direct messages in my Instagram, I hope this answered a lot of your questions on how to utilize the CJ Ultra Zero utility pump. Now, there's different ways of using it. Like I was showing, you can use it with your actual Python, which CJ was brilliant for making those two compatible. Um, I personally don't as I showed you my technique on doing water changes, and that's all I was doing. It was merely creating this video to show you guys an alternative way of doing a water change. I know a lot of you guys out there probably do water changes like I do, but like I said, we all have a different way, and I hope you enjoyed this video. The boys in the background are all having a blast. You can see Big having fun. You can see Lamont, and of course, Zeus, my Ocellaris Peacock Bass. Comment down below if you guys wanna hear the story on Zeus. I can make a video on him all day, every day, show you some old clips, how big he was. He was literally about almost two inches when I got him. And now he's like a, a whopping like 14, 15 inches right now. We do have plans for him and these fish for the Fish Room Tiki Lounge. Stay tuned for that because I will be adding the first aquarium to Tiki Lounge. Stay tuned. Other than that, Ohana, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe and go Rams.
Love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Fake a pay, Moko, how are you hooky, Ella, Imanea Garani?